What's up ladies and gentlemen, I'm Yana from Wise Gadgets and today I will show you how to put custom RAM on your smartphone, on your Android smartphone. So this is the second uh, series of uh, how to put uh, custom RAM on your smartphone. First go to the website I have given down in the description below. Actually I was uh, downloading clockwork mode in that and uh, now I'm uh, downloading Android 4.2.1 and uh, you could put any custom ROM what you want but uh, I'm choosing this one because uh, it's the latest and greatest of course here we put download and uh, it has a patch to uh, click download so bef uh, the video before I made uh, how to put how to root your device and this is a uh, video talks a uh, little bit about more about uh, how to put custom ROM on your smartphone so uh, to ROM to be more exact and uh, also clockwork mode 5 uh, what you need to put custom ROM on your smartphone so I transferred the files over to my SD card I didn't uh, leave my a connection with my SD card uh, to my computer. Now we go into phone. As you see here, we have the yeah the phone. We unplug the smartphone from the USB connector, and uh, actually we turn it down, power it off. It's prepared the SD card as you saw there, and uh, now the SD card is done and the uh, power of the device. Uh, why to put custom ROM on your smartphone? This uh, makes uh, this uh, speeds up your smartphone actually, in uh, many cases, but some cases it doesn't. To mod your device and uh, put a new feel on it. So how to access recovery mode? You hold down power button and home button at the same time, and it uh, bring you the menu. You go to the install zip from SD card and uh, choose zip the first and uh, choose uh, the PXP2 uh, file what uh, installs uh, PX signage the uh, clockwork mode uh, version 2 this installs uh, clockwork mode uh, recovery uh, it flashes it flashes the clockwork mode and now you install your preferred uh, ROM, which you preferred. I preferred the Sunage mod 10.1 and uh, click install and uh, I install the patch right now. Uh, and uh, you have to wipe data factory and from the RST card, delete all user data and uh, actually you move with your volume keys if you didn't understand already and also wipe cache part wipe cache and when you have done that reboot your device and uh, this is basically it, uh, how to put custom ROM on your smartphone but I will show you some uh, more about uh, Android 4.2.1 and uh, this is the boot screen the clockwork mode uh, the signature mode not clockwork mode Clockwork mode is uh, the thing you need to put your custom ROM in. So here I enter my SIM number and uh, it unlocks your phone, as we say. And here you see Sanity Mod 10.1 uh, home screen. It's buttery smooth. And here is Android 4.2.1 and uh, it's cool uh, new status bar. And go to settings about phone to show you everyone uh, that I have Android version 4.2.1 and uh, the ROM is actually in the description down below if you want to download it for Galaxy Geo and uh, that's pretty much all you need to know about custom ROMs and uh, when you root your device you get the super user as I showed you last time, please like this video, it really helps me out a lot, and be subscribed if you haven't already. And thanks for watching, I'll catch you later. Peace!